waiting, huh? Hey guys, what's up? TBL here, bringing you some Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes coverage and gameplay. In this video, we'll be covering the location of all nine Zoth patches, hidden throughout Camp Omega. The collection of all nine Zoth patches unlocks the Deja Vu mission, featuring Solid Snake for the PS3 and PS4, or the Jamais Vu mission featuring Raiden for the Xbox One or Xbox 360. So on your feet, soldier. We've got work to do. The first patch is located immediately behind the starting area. On the cliff overhanging the ocean, simply turn around and explore the area to the right, and you'll find the first soft patch lying in wait. Kept you waiting, huh? The patches themselves are small and difficult to spot, so keep an eye on your HUD. Patch number two is located in the prisoner camp near where you can rescue the POWs and Chico. Take out the nearby guards and then pick the lock to the main entrance of the fenced prison area. Take one or two steps in and you should find the patch over on your right. It's important to note these patches can be obtained in any order. Just make sure you get them all. The third patch can be found by the refugee camp to the west. You'll be able to spot it by all the tents in the area. Enter the camp and head down towards a group of tents to your left. There will be a small flat trash pile in front of a red barrel. Beware of any patrols in the area roaming around. For added security, you might want to take out the watchtower before attempting this. This patch is difficult to spot, so you may have to walk around the trash pile for a bit before you can find it. Carefully make your way around until you find the patch, and then you're done. Three down, six to go. The fourth patch should be directly north of your current position. Behind a small building will be a locked fence protecting some electrical boxes. You'll need to pick the lock to get inside. Be absolutely sure you've cleared the area out first. You don't want to get caught with your pants down. Once the lock is picked, head inside and hop on top of the white electrical box and you'll find your patch. Your next patch will likely be the most difficult one, so be ready. Patch number 5 is easily the most dangerous to obtain, as it's located smack dab in the middle of the heliport. There are three patches located in or around the admin building, with this one being right in the middle of the helipad. Carefully make your way around the guards, incapacitating them, or taking them out. To ensure that you don't get flanked in an area with open spaces and very little cover. Once you're clear, the patch will be near a puddle close to the middle helipad in front of the admin building. Well done, soldier. Five down, four to go. The next two patches in this area can be obtained rather close to each other. To the far west side of the admin building, you'll find a red door right next to a large front gate. There will be a drainage tunnel nearby containing another Zoth patch, but we'll show that a little bit later. Head inside the red door and quietly maneuver your way about. Make sure to take note of the surveillance camera in the far right corner. This area will have at least one patrol, so it's best to take him out before going for the patch, which will be located on the roof of a nearby building. Once you've handled the guard, hop on top of the nearby white electrical boxes. Mantle these, immediately turn right, and that'll be the roof you're looking for. Use this leverage to leap to the nearby roof. Climb up, and your next patch will be located on the side exhaust of the nearby chimney. You're doing good. Only three more to go. Depending on the order you pick these up in, your 7th patch may be located back by the prisoner camp. There will be a guard station located nearby in between the prisoner camp and one of Snake's chopper pickup points. Depending on how far you are into the Ground Zero's mission, there may be guards over here or there may not be. Once you've got a chance, hop on top of the security station and you'll find your next patch. Out. 
Our patch number 8 is located back by the admin building, very close to the location of patch number 6. Remember that drainage tunnel? It's located on the outside western edge of the admin building, sitting behind some small scaffolding. Work your way around and you should find the tunnel itself. Hop inside and the patch will be right behind the bars, hidden in plain sight. You can collect these in any order, so it may be best to pick this up immediately before or after you get the chimney patch. After going over all the data we've compiled, that looks like the last XOF unit patch. Boss, get back to the mission. The final XOF patch is actually hidden in plain sight. You can obtain it immediately after starting, because it's hidden on Big Boss. When you've got control of Snake, go prone and begin rolling around. You can do this by going prone, holding in the aim button, and tapping in the left control stick. Continue this process for 5 to 10 seconds, and a cutscene should start. Once the cutscene completes, the patch will drop off of Big Boss himself. Simply go and pick it up. Congratulations, soldier. You've now collected every soft patch in the game. I'll finish the Ground Zeroes mission, and the Deja Vu mission will be unlocked if you're playing on PS3 or PS4, and the Jume Vu mission will be unlocked if you're playing on either Xbox One or the Xbox 360. Well, that's it for this one, guys. If you're looking for more missions and briefings, head to my channel where there will be more Metal Gear Solid 5 videos coming, as well as gameplays and commentaries from other games. Anyway, that's it for this one, guys. As always, I am the Black Link. You guys stay frosty.